urgently remind you that you are not the heir apparent to the throne. Nollywood actor Ernest Osuzo has shocked Nigerians after appearing in a video, unable to speak due to ill health and years of hardship. The veteran Nollywood actor, who was best known as El Cream back in his heydays, was seen shirtless and looked disoriented. He stood and watched the fans speak to Nigerians on his behalf. Despite wearing a decent haircut and a gold necklace, he appeared sober and sad listening to the Good Samaritan. According to the man who sent the video to Insta blog Niger, Ernesto Suzo was spotted begging for money in the streets of Lagos. I see him in this kind of condition. And uh, what is that for here? Uh, just right. Just right. Just right. Okay. Asking, asking men, Nigerian men, to assist him when you have Nollywood uh, people. They are just there doing anything they like, but they don't help themselves. You understand? So we are calling on Nollywood to come assist, assist their member. It's not only to ask him. This guy cannot even walk. So they need to come to the die earth. Not when he dies and they will come and uh, do big barrier for somebody. They need to help him now that he's alive. Please, Thank even you. Nigerian government, government need to assist this guy. I know what is the problem. Apart from the upset fan expressing his disappointment with Nollywood and Ernesto Suzo's successful colleagues today in the industry, another video was made hours later. This time, the actor appeared to be sitting in his house, where another fan met him and pleaded with Nigerians to help the entertainer. We are now in the in the home of uh, in the house of. Uh, 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 and Ernest Asozo, a Nollywood actor, a well-known face in the Nollywood actor uh, in the Nollywood industry. Please, we need his, we need your help. He's, he has been he's been down with stroke for some years now, and nobody is helping him out. All his friends have deserted him. Nobody is calling, nobody is checking up on him, and he's dying in silence. Hello guys, it's Nelly here and you are watching African Greek. Nollywood actor Ernest Osuzo was born in Imo State, Nigeria, but grew up in Lagos. In the early and late 90s, he was also known as a successful musician, rapper, producer and movie director. The actor often starred alongside Rita Dominic, Genevieve Naji, Gentle Jack, Robert Peters and the majority of other veterans. Nollywood actors. Yeah. Hi, I'll see you later, Kate. Represent. What exactly are you staring at, Frank? Me? Yeah, you. Man, I was staring at nothing. I'm just. Do I look stupid to you? Do I look like a kid to you, Frank? Why must you do this to me each time we go out? Why? Man, I said I was not staring at nothing. Better oh. believe that was up with you. I said I. Cream with his classic braids back then was the most popular Nollywood bad boy, Hitman and Americana, before Jim Ike came to light. As a rapper, he released his first single, Go Under, which was a hit. During an interview, he said the only singers he was interested in working with was Two Baba and P Square. While rising like a shooting star, he was however pulled back from his successful acting and music career after he fell ill. Ernest Asuzwa began his acting career in the early 90s and rose to fame in Nollywood. After starring in a hit movie, Another Campus Queen, he became more famous after featuring in several movies, including Rituals, a film that was produced by Kenneth Newe. While Asuzwa can brag of featuring in over 100 Nollywood movies back in the 90s, some of them include Royal War, Ogidan, Living Abroad, Burning Desire, Never End, Broad Daylight, Last Wedding, Labista to name a few. His most famous movie, Labista, released in 2004, earned him an award for Best Supporting Actor at the Africa Movie Academy Awards. Ernest Asuzwa's shooting star career took a plunge after he fell ill and his recovery journey has been slower than expected since then. Rumor first kicked off that he had mental disturbance. His wife Jennifer however debunked the story saying that her husband was mentally sound. The actor finally went public around 2015, revealing he suffered a stroke and was unable to walk or talk properly.
The Royal War actor, however, during an interview with the Sun newspaper Nigeria, claimed that Nollywood is evil because a well-known movie producer was jealous of his rise in the entertainment industry and decided to put a spell on him. What happened was that in the night, one girl slapped me and I didn't see the girl. In the dream, not dream. Physical. Physical. Nigeria. Explaining how it all began, Ernest Azuzwa said he was in a movie location in Asaba when a popular movie producer who he refused to name his name looked at him and told him that the movie would be his last. The man told me to my eyes, to my face, that this production I'm doing right now will be my last production. Mm. Two days later, he fell ill and couldn't walk. He said he had no money during the incident and called his wife who sent him some money. A friend later came to his rescue and managed to put him on a bus back to Lagos. As they arrived Lagos, he tried to open the door to leave but fell off the bus. When I came down from the bus, I fell down. When I fell down, my face here hit the floor. The driver and passengers came to his rescue and carried him back into the bus and took him home to his wife and brother. When his brother saw him in such a sorry condition, he shook his head and said who did this to him. Ernest said he couldn't respond and was staring at his brother. After that day and for three days, he was stooling and vomiting. He couldn't eat or walk and was taken to hospital eventually. I was, I was cheating. I was, all my body was filled of shit. If not for my wife, it's my wife that helped me. And after several tests, the doctor revealed he is suffering from partial stroke. After several hospital medication, the actor began to run out of financial aid and this was when he went public. A man of God rescued him. After spending one year with Pastor Jeremiah Fonfayen of Mercy Land Deliverance Ministry in Warri Delta States, reports and news made the rounds that the Nollywood actor has been healed completely of his stroke and spell and after deliverance can walk and talk again properly. Pastor Jeremiah reportedly gave him a brand new SUV valued at about 3.5 million naira and a 1.5 million startup capital to help revive his career and start a new life. The Labista actor and his wife were very happy and ready to start life again. Ernest Asuzwa married his wife Jennifer officially around 2010 and they have children together. According to Sunday Scoop in 2018, the actor said he is glad he has been sexually active while still nursing his ailment because he feared his wife might leave him. During the interview, he also thanked his wife for not abandoning him after spending all his money on ill health. According to Premium Times, they contacted the president of Actors Guilds of Nigeria, Emeka Rollers after news of Asuzo's latest condition surfaced online. Emeka Rollers expressed his shock and said he is aware of the actor's condition. He also expressed his disappointment at a man howling insult at Nollywood without really knowing how involved they have been in Ernest Asuzo's case over the past few years. Emeka Rollers told Premium Times that they took Asuzo to a man of God who healed him reminding them that he was in Maryland for months and even left with a Prado Jeep. He promised to get in touch with his wife to find out what happened to a man he thought is now doing well for himself. Around April of 2019, Ernest Asuzwa and his wife debunk rumors making rounds on social media that he has passed away. According to his wife who posted on Facebook that her husband is not dead but alive and kicking, she said they have been receiving calls even from outside the country from people who want to confirm if what they read online was true. Say this. My name is Ernest Asuzo. I just want to say this categorically well that I'm not dead. As you can see, I'm in Prophet's house right now and we're doing the God's thing. I thank God for those people that are spreading over me right now that I'm dead. As you can see me live on the right, I'm not dead. I wish those people life because the Bible says that if people are doing you bad, do them good. I've lived my life all my life to wish them good. I wish them more life. Let them see this life. I see the good and the bad things of this life. And they like it, let them take it. But if they don't like it, they not take it. El 
Uncle Cream and his wife debunked the rumors and made it clear he is cooking a new movie and also working on another hit single. And that was the last time he was vocal on social media. And now here we are in 2020 and he was allegedly spotted begging for money in the streets of Lagos. While some people are feeling sorry for the once a great Nollywood actor with the majority ready to help and are asking how. Some are suggesting that a GoFundMe account should be created with his name while others are asking for his account details. Despite his failed health and drawback in the entertainment industry, it looks like El Cream is trying to make a comeback in the past few years looking at his social media accounts, but it doesn't seem to be working. His fans will be more than happy if Nollywood actors, especially his colleagues who are making it today, can come out together one more time to help him out. Ernest Asuzwa has been helped before by a man of God and it seems like things didn't pick up as expected. Do you think Nollywood can save him? Do you believe El Cream has still got it and should return to Nollywood and the music industry? You came away with so much love to give away. Sure, I must be lucky to be the one you just draw your clothes. Share your thoughts with us in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Check out our channel for more interesting African stories and news. Also, don't forget to hit the bell sign to be notified every time we upload a new video. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.